EA Sports is back with another football release in Madden 22. And after a harshly criticized installment with Madden 21, a game that saw a .2 user score on Metacritic, the company is back working to make amends with its player base. From updates to the gameplay to franchise mode getting a much needed feature post launch, the developers have done quite a bit to improve the game. But will this year's game be the title that turns things around for the series, or will fans once again be left wondering what if? I'm Mike from Sports Gamers Online, and here are 10 things that you need to know about Madden 22 before you buy. Before we begin though, be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online with notifications turned on so you never miss the latest Madden content. And if you want more SGO, join the official Sports Gamers Online Discord by going to sportsgamersonline.com slash discord. We'll get things started with the game's dual entitlement details. Now like last year, EA Sports is offering a dual entitlement program for men 22 players. But unlike last year, it's not as flexible for those who buy it on a last gen Xbox One or PlayStation 4. In order to get an upgrade to the PS5 or Xbox Series X and S version of Madden 22, you have to spend the extra money. To take advantage of the dual entitlement offer, you'll have to buy either the MVP edition that costs $100 or the Dynasty edition that costs $120. As with last year's dual entitlement, you'll have to upgrade to the next console generation of the original platform you play on, PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox Series X and S. As far as what carries over for those who do upgrade, players in Madden Ultimate Team will see everything except competitive mode progress brought over with the upgrade. All progression for both the yard and face of the franchise will also carry over. Unfortunately though, franchise mode won't carry over, meaning that you'll have to start anew. One last catch too to think about is that if you want your Madden rank, wallet, avatar look and loadout, player class progression, and vanity purchases to carry over to Madden 22 on the next gen systems, you'll have to upgrade to a next gen version of the game within two months of your original last gen purchase. Up next, let's talk about the next gen only features of the game. When you load up Madden 22, the platform you play on will make a pretty significant impact on your playing experience. If you have the game on Xbox Series X and S or PS5, you'll get the biggest and best new features being dubbed as Dynamic Game Day. Dynamic Game Day includes new next gen stats star driven AI, which has AI player behavior determined by real world NFL stats, Game day atmosphere that sees each stadium have a unique element to bring a true home field advantage into Madden 22, and Next Gen Movement 2.0, which will take the foundation laid by its debut in Madden 21 and add more natural movement to all 22 players on the field during each play. If you're on last gen platforms, however, you're not going to get any of that, but that doesn't mean you aren't going to get any gameplay improvements, which we'll discuss later on. Moving on, let's talk about PC. If you noticed, I didn't mention PC as getting the next-gen only features. That's because it's not being treated as a next-gen game. Despite the average PC being on par or better than the new consoles, EA Sports made the decision to keep it at the same level of the last-gen systems. That means features like the Game Day Atmosphere, Next Gen Movement 2.0, and the Next Gen Stats Star Driven AI won't be available for PC players. In the response to the criticism of this from the community, EA told SGO that it was quote something being explored for the future. The reason given was that because the game was still early in the next gen transition, the development team quote focused on making the best quality experience on new consoles before looking to upgrade other platforms. But like I said, just because you're playing on a last gen platform or what EA dubs a last gen platform, that doesn't mean you aren't going to get any gameplay improvements. And luckily, it's not just the next-gen platforms with those improvements. Madden 22 sees a number of updates to the game's core gameplay for all players regardless of platform. One of the biggest changes according to EA Sports itself involves tackling. Madden 22 will feature new interactions that are quote more appropriate to specific situations, taking the size and strength of players into consideration. Some of these new tackles include sideline tackles that have defenders using the sideline to their advantage, and more organic gang tackles that include two to four players. Other areas of gameplay that EA addressed in the game involve more natural looking catches that limit things like receivers seemingly slowing down despite having separation on defenders, and blocking that utilizes more logic to help linemen make the right read and decision to either protect the quarterback or clear a hole for a running back. 
And there are even more updates to the gameplay in Madden 22 that EA is banking on improving the natural flow of the game and brings the game to a new level of realism. Up next, let's talk about the game's broadcast. Madden 22 is going to see some updates to the presentation in terms of visuals, but there won't be any real or major changes to the game's broadcast overall. The same broadcast team of Brennan Godden and Charles Davies returns, there's no update to the overall injury presentation, and the draft experience from franchise mode remains exactly the same. As far as what is changing, there will be an updated Super Bowl presentation for players, as well as a new halftime show. But don't get your hopes up too high. The halftime show won't be anything like what fans hoping for an NFL 2K5-like experience want. Instead, it's going to focus on the current matchup, stats, overall strategy, and halftime adjustments. And as far as what else is coming, there will be some slight updates to transitions and overlay panels within the game. Moving on to mode specifically, let's start out with franchise mode and the fact that coaching staffs finally come to the mode. A long wanted and awaited feature that's finally coming back into the series, coaching staffs will be able to be managed in Madden 22. Rather than having just a single head coach with all of the responsibilities, Madden 22 introduces three more positions to manage within your franchise. Players now have to manage a head coach, offensive and defensive coordinators, and the player personnel department. As part of this new management, you'll be able to hire and fire your staff, as well as build them up using staff points. These staff points add an RPG-like element to the feature that are only gained by completing objectives and reaching various milestones, meaning no microtransactions whatsoever. Using these points, though, allow you to update your coach's talents in various areas to help your team like improving the injury rating for all defensive players or even getting discounts on certain types of players when looking to make a trade. The next thing you need to know about Madden 22 before you buy is that Face of the Franchise is back for better or worse. Dubbed United We Rise, Face of the Franchise is back in Madden 22 with some new features to try and lure players into the mode that helps justify the use of the Frostbite engine within sports games. The mode starts out this year with the new Road to the Draft section. You'll start out as a generational talent heading into the NFL Draft, taking part in various training sessions. From there, you'll be able to work on your draft stock by playing in the college football playoff, interviewing with NFL teams, and even taking part in private pre-draft workouts. Madden 22 also brings class progression into the mode for the first time, as well as the ability to play on the defensive side of the ball as a linebacker. There's even side activities to take part in throughout the week that allow you to have a more unique experience within the mode. It's shaping up to be a slightly more open-ended offering than past years, but it's still likely going to end up your typical sports-themed movie that you'll either love or hate. And speaking of another mode that you're either going to love or hate, let's talk about The Yard and EA Sports pretty much doubling down on its offering. The Yard's debut in Madden 21 was pretty much a mixed bag to say the least. Some fans loved it, while others just viewed it as another excuse to ignore modes like Franchise. Well, after seeing the mode grow over its first year, EA Sports is doubling down on the arcade mode in Madden 22. This year sees the introduction of a brand new challenge-based solo or co-op campaign. Divided up into four chapters, the Yards campaign features a new set of venues per chapter with a location-specific boss, which is an NFL superstar, blocking your progression. On top of the boss, each venue comes with its own set of house rules, like a defensive touchdown being worth 10 points instead of 6. If you beat that boss on a certain venue, you'll then be able to recruit them to your squad to help you in future games. One thing of note is that class progression will carry over between the yard and face of the franchise, allowing all of the work you put in to not be left behind. Up next, let's talk about scouting within franchise mode. Now it only took years of begging, and it's not coming until a post-launch update, but the scouting system in Madden is finally getting a facelift with Madden 22. Rather than rely on points to scout players, the new mechanics rely on your scout's level and talents at their job. You'll be able to have a regional or national scout with each having their own strengths and weaknesses. There's even the ability to focus on a specific player throughout the year, which could lead, however, to teams working to try and keep you from getting the player you clearly want. Another key element is that players will now move up and down the rankings throughout the year. A quarterback you like could start the season on fire, but collapse down the stretch. This could then lead to your scout wanting the team to avoid him and having him ranked lower. 
It'll then become the decision on trusting your gut versus your staff. Lastly, mock drafts held throughout the season will reflect the various rankings within the year. These will help give insight into what players are drawing the most attention and which might be flying under the radar. Again, it's not coming until sometime in the weeks after the game's available, but when it comes, it's going to be a welcomed addition to the series. Just know that you're going to have to start your franchise over if you want to take advantage of the update within the mode. And the last thing to know about Madden 22 before you buy is that more features are coming to the game post-launch. If you watch this whole video and you're still sitting there wondering, well, what else is there before you make your final decision? EA Sports will be releasing two more major updates to franchise mode via what it's calling its live service updates. Now there's not much to say about this because there's really been no real hint of what those other updates will entail, but they are both expected sometime later this year after the scouting updates released. And it could be expected that like the scouting update, you might have to restart your franchise in order to take advantage of them. But again, that's just guessing and nothing has been confirmed. But that's still something to keep in mind if you want to wait until everything's out before you decide to spend the 70, 80, 90, or 100 dollars on this year's game. But for now, sports gamers, it's time to pass the questions off to you. Are you excited about Madden 22? Will you be picking up the game at launch, waiting for a sale, or waiting until more updates are available? Let us know in the comments section below, and be sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to Sports Gamers Online for more Madden content daily. And as always, visit our website at sportsgamersonline.com.